It's still a miracle how Poland has emerged as one of Europe's greatest success stories despite all the tragedy that happened to the nation. Known mostly for its medieval architecture, hearty cuisine, and Jewish heritage, this small country on the Baltic Sea has risen above the bleak history to become a growing tourist destination. Medieval meccas like Gnatsk and Krakow or urban hotspots like Warsaw are one of the reasons why you should consider visiting Poland. So without further ado, here are the 10 best places to visit in Poland. Number 3 to 1 will leave you awestruck. Number 10, Torun. Torun is best known perhaps as the birthplace of Copernicus, and also for its old marketplace and gothic town hall that the National Geographic Polska put on its list of the 30 most beautiful places in the world. This is the place to come take a break from the main tourist circuit and still have a nice time. Luckily, Torun escaped bombing during World War II, so that means the city still boasts numerous buildings that date back to the Middle Ages. Construction on the town hall started in the 13th century with many churches, including the Cathedral of SS, John the Evangelist, and John the Baptist, dating back to the 14th century. This church is a must-see for travelers interested in Gothic paintings and sculptures. Number 9, Malbork. Malbork has just one thing that attracts most of its visitors, but that one thing is pretty incredible. It's castle. You need to see this castle if you ever visit Poland. Words can't describe how beautiful and unearthly this castle looks. The castle was ordered built in the 13th century by the Knights of the Teutonic Order as their headquarters, and it has stood there ever since. The castle is actually three castles, making it the world's largest brick castle and took 230 years to build the castle, a majority of which sadly was destroyed during World War II, but much of the castle has been restored since then. Stunning both inside and out, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, completed in 1409, is Europe's largest Gothic castle. Number 8, Lublin. Lublin, located east of Vestula, is another ancient city with a marketplace that may have dated back to the 6th century. So, imagine all that history there for you to experience. This city is full of unique monuments, romantic corners, and narrow yet charming streets which still remember the old times very well. Our favorite place is the fairy tale backyard of the House of Words. At 17 Kroluska Street, there is a gate which will allow you to enter the magical world of the Society of the House of Words. Each year, the employees of the museum, along with volunteers, create a gallery based on a different fairy tale or book. The backyard transforms into the world of such timeless characters as the Little Prince, the Moomins, and Alice in Wonderland. And most recently, the gate was leading into the world of the Wizard of Oz. Just magical. Number 7. Tatra National Park a place of Poland you should certainly visit is the Tatra National Park, especially if you like outdoor activities and if you don't, it's fine because the park has something for everyone. The scenic beauty you'll find at Tatra National Park is like none other. Established in 1954, the park is mainly forests, meadows, and numerous rock formations covering the Tatra Mountains. You can enjoy touring six of the park's 650 caves that are open to the public or enjoy one of the 30 alpine lakes as well as the Wilka Siklawa waterfall which is 70 meters high. Hikers are not left out as you get 170 miles of trails just for hiking. Indoors or outdoors, Tatra will make you feel at home. Number 6. Poznan To say that Poznan has gone through a lot in the past millennium would be an understatement. This city is one large piece of history, having experienced two world wars, the communist government, and been the capital of Poland for about a thousand years ago and a significant commercial center in the 13th century. The history is mind-blowing. And the amazing thing is that the history of Poznan is still quite evident today. Whether you visit Polish landmarks like the Old Town Hall and Poznan Cathedral, which date back to the 10th century, or museums like the Royal Castle and the Archaeological Museum. You can still see and feel it. But one thing we love more than the history is how there is a hint of nature everywhere in Poznan. 
The green areas cover about 25% of the city, and you can visit more than 10 stunning parks and gardens. So, if you're looking for a relaxing city break, Poznan might just be exactly what you need. Number 5. Sopot Without a doubt, Sopot is one of the most stunning Polish beach towns. Both Polish citizens and foreigners love to visit Sopot. This city is well known for the famed Sopot Pier in addition to the Forest Opera Festival, which has been held annually since 1961. The seaside has beautiful monuments, attractions, and stunning godlike beaches with plenty of sand and tourists, especially in the season of tourist peaks between June and September. Locals will tell you about the thrilling Monte Cassino Street and the Wooden Pier, which is the longest in Europe, while tourists will tell you not to miss Krzysztof Domek, also known as the Crooked House, because of its distinctive gaudy-like shape. Whichever you decide to try out will leave you with an experience of a lifetime. Number 4. Roklaw Fun fact, Roklaw is actually the fourth largest city in Poland. The city, which spans numerous islands, was built during the Middle Ages. The city, which spans numerous islands, was built during the Middle Ages and still has some exquisite bridges and magnificent buildings. Those who know Roklaw best will advise you to not miss Salt Market Square, Centennial Hall, which is, by the way, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, or the majestic St. Mary Magdalene Church that has existed since the 13th century. Main attractions include the impressive Old Town Hall, St. Elizabeth's Church with its observation deck overlooking the city, and the largest zoo in Poland. But nothing beats sailing on the Oder River in a relaxing way to get a feel for this medieval city. Number 3. Gdansk This city on the Baltic coast has a unique vibe that separates it from the rest of the country. It is a place that has been influenced by the numerous wealthy merchants that have been drawn to its port over centuries. The main town has been rebuilt in the center of Gdansk and features vibrant storefronts and restaurants that are colorful. The Neptune Fountain, which was constructed in the 17th century and represents the city, is its crowning achievement and can easily spot it in the city. It is quite a sight to behold. The city also is home to St. Mary Church, the largest brick church in the world. When you're done admiring St. Mary's Church, you should enjoy a pleasure boat cruise upriver and a brew at a beer garden along the dock. Number 2. Warsaw Poland's capital city, Warsaw, is like a phoenix that emerges from the ashes. Warsaw, which was founded in the 12th century, was largely destroyed during World War II, but has since rebuilt itself into a thriving historical and cultural center with a completed and restored old town. Its long and turbulent history can be seen in the distinctive forms of architecture. You'll find Gothic churches, Soviet area blocks, modern skyscrapers, and neoclassical palaces. It was once referred to as the Paris of the North, and it is notable for being the birthplace of Cornucopius, a prominent Renaissance astronomer, and classical composer Friedrich Chopin. Visitors of all ages will appreciate a trip to the Cornucopius Science Center, where there are numerous interactive exhibits that'll keep you entertained. And if that's not your thing, you can be well assured that the thriving music scene and vibrant nightlife will keep you entertained. Number 1. Krakow If you are looking for a tourist-friendly experience that ticks off all the reasons that make Europe such a great destination, historic towns, spectacular architecture, scenic strolls, affordable cafes, and a fantastic range of day tours, then pick Krakow. This city offers that and more. Krakow has transformed from a little town in the 7th century to Poland's second largest city, renowned for its artistic, scholarly, and commercial endeavors. This transformation can be said to be your typical rag-to-riches story, and we love it. The well-planned streets and tree-lined pedestrian avenues make it enjoyable to stroll through the city. You should visit Jaglion University or Wawel Castle, which is home to the Polish kings for almost 600 years. There is also Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, 14th Century St. Mary's Basilica, and Cloth Hall, a wonderful Renaissance-era outpost. Visit Krakow, and you will see why it's number one on our list. That is all we have for you today. Let us know in the comments section which city you would like to visit. Also, smash the like button to give us a thumbs up, and the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. 
Thank you for watching. Till next time.